Hello and welcome or welcome back to the channel. Today's video is a haul and um, this is from probably uh, I've been collecting this almost a couple of months now actually I think so um, I've done pretty well. If you all know I'm on a low buy trying my best 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 bestest to uh, behave because <laughs> we're saving Um, so I think I did quite well actually we'll work it out together I know I had one slip that's for sure so I did um grab some more of these I really like the signal Y, and <clears throat> they had this little pack for not much more than uh, the what you know the the pack of whites that I get so I got a, a gold a bronze a silver and a white because uh, I just like the signal uh, uniball gel pens kind of all round and I do like the bronze so um, I just grabbed another pack of those so I have uh, some spare this this is where I fell off the wagon not gonna lie this was my uh, uh, Manus. Uh, this I received for Valentine's Day from my husband. So he got me the Pro Colour series of the Thule Art Paint Pens, the 22 in the Extra Fine. And he got me the, well, the greens set, assorted greens. Um, I am kind of collecting these a little bit, just kind of slowly. I am really enjoying these, uh, to be honest, lately, <laughs> using them a lot more than I was before. So I've got the greens because I do use blue and green a lot because I like them for backgrounds. And I did get this confetti set. This is also in the extra fine. That is kind of what I buy these in. This is a 24 set of confetti. Um, and I have checked and they are different colours to the other sets. So all these sets that they come out with, they don't repeat the colours is what I quite like. Um, so I so far have not seen a crossover. So when you're getting a set, you're always seeming to get different colours, at least from the ones I've had so far. So I think the confetti is just like a series of quite bright confetti colours. So I did grab that. So I have <laughs> rather a ridiculous collection and I definitely fell off the wagon with those. Um, I believe, I mean, they were on sale when I grabbed them, but they were still kind of 20 something pound. They're not super cheap, but it does work out like um, about a pound a pen. So it felt worth it to me. And I did grab those to go with. I've got quite a few of these sets now. I think I've got the blues, uh, the earth and skin, the pastel, um, and now these two sets as well. So doing all right there. Uh, Emoja Ink Press did send this book to me and there is a flip through on the channel. This is Beauty Close Up Volume 1. They have a few books like this now I believe and although you buy them from Amazon I don't they aren't actually Amazon print which is quite nice. Um, so full flip through is up on the channel if you're interested in seeing this one fully. Uh, also sent to me uh, was the Wee Shang Ong new series, Nightingales 1, 2 and 3, her colouring books. Uh, these are Amazon print um, and I've got a video with all three of these flipped through. I'm going to have to work on one of these soon. They're super cute and it actually I do really fancy them. I like these because... Um, a lot of the backgrounds are already completed for you, so they go a little bit quicker. And I do have the full series there, so you can see the flip through of all three of those. Um, I did buy because you know it is an it, she's a must buy for me. I have a few now that are must buys, and there were two of my illustrators this time that had books out, so I did grab them. I've got amazingly adorable creature, uh, amazingly adorable characters collection in grayscale. This is her book nine by Derya Kakiasi, I think you say. I'm not sure. Um, and oh, just love these. I don't get around to a whole lot of colouring them, but I do grab them just because she's one of my must-haves, as I said. Um, another must-have now is a Morgan O'Brien. He's got this Matchstick Mouse a Big Adventure colouring book out this time. 
uh, just too cute, too cute. These are just amazing. I will do flip throughs of both of these because they are not yet up on my channel. And then finally, I did, I got it. <laughs> I got the Mil Lulu Mayo A Million Baby Animals because it, it was just too cute not to. I love a small colouring book. Um, I'm quite interested in, I feel like the paper might be a little bit different. I'm not sure. No, I think it's the same. I think it's the same. So Black Widows probably it is. But I just thought this one was really cute. I don't colour her books very often. I have a small handful. I think I've kept three of hers. Um, so I do have a couple, but this one really appealed to me. I think it's super cute. Um, so I did, I did treat myself to that. So uh, Law by Fail, definitely the three colouring books, but I mean, they were, they were a given and the confetti uh, gel pens <laughs> uh, acrylic paint pens for sure so mm, not my best month for behaving myself but in terms of you know some of the hauls that you've seen on my channel pretty darn good i'm still gonna consider that um you know considering this is a good few weeks worth i don't feel like i fell off my low buy wagon too badly so um i, I still think i'm you know pleased enough with how i'm doing at the moment i am trying to gain some control and 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 claw back <laughs> the craziness that is my craft room um it is intense at the moment my crafts as you know are many <laughs> and of course with my wax melt shop um, also up and running now and having a lot of stock and kind of materials for that are in my room as well now it is intense absolutely intense I do have a week off in April and I think I'm gonna sit and kind of pack up batches of things that I don't feel like I'm gonna use uh, and pop them onto eBay because I think it's just time to uh maybe have a true sort out and you know um things that are worth a bit of money i might sell and then i'm just gonna pack a load of stuff up and donate it i reckon uh it just you know it's sitting around i'm not gonna use it and it needs to not be just collecting dust it needs to be fabulous fun for other people and i get a bit overwhelmed when my craft room is overwhelmed because i just start to struggle to want to um use and you know sit and create and work in it because i'm just constant i get to a point where i'm just constantly cleaning it because i can't cope with it being um a pigsty so <laughs> it starts to get very counterproductive in here and yeah i think even a hobbyist can get overwhelmed by their hobbies sometimes especially when if you're into quite a few things and i think my problem is or not my problem because it's just who i am i like to try new crafts so i'm bringing crafts into this room all the time and just adding it into the pile of other crafts and then you know it's one room because let's be honest i can't let this thing spill out into the rest of my house it's an absolute given that it has to stay in this one room so just got to do my best to uh sort out the control and uh just fix what's going on i haven't even made cards for ages because i think i just get to the point where it's too much hassle getting everything out and getting to everything and that's a shame because I do enjoy doing that. I'm sorry, I have waffled on. A um, lot going on at the moment. Um, I know you've not seen a lot of videos again from me the last couple of weeks. And I can only apologise for that. Work's very busy and I've had uh, a couple of things go on with my dog. Which he's okay now, he's fine. But um, I will fill you in on a, a whipping chat. I've been tending to do my chats at the moment over on my diamond painting channel. 
um, if you're not aware of that channel I'll put the link down below and so if you're you know quite enjoy the colouring charts you know the chatty kind of videos um, please do subscribe to that channel as well because I'm just finding it easier to diamond paint and chat than I ever have to colour and chat because it's just too much um, concentration to be able to do the two things at once so you are seeing more chatty videos over there at the moment and more kind of instructional videos over here um we'll see we'll see how that goes on apart from that guys no i miss you very much and i will be back as soon as uh, possible once things calm down on this end i know i'm always up and in and disappearing and back and it's just because obviously this is a side venture that i do when i have time and uh, i don't always have the amount of time i would love to have for these hobbies that i share with you all um but yeah everything is good on my end i hope you're all doing really well and i hope to be a lot more present very soon um the beginning of april does get a little bit easier for us it's kind of the end of the year this month uh the way our contract works so we're just super super busy and uh hopefully everything will catch up on itself so apart from that guys any questions about anything that you've seen pop it in the description box down below i will try and get flip throughs for the last couple of books and um, that i haven't shown you anything else it will be videos on my channel you can see the flips and such um and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching